Hi team, uh, in today's video I just want to show you how to check to see if you're running the MBN limit plan. So first thing that you need to do is make sure that you're actually connected to the MBN Stratasync. Um, the MBN Stratasync ID is 42641443. And then uh, assuming that the NBN limit plan has already been installed in your unit, you will need to go into one check, go into configure, then view Stratasync configuration. Now, as you can see, you got the limit plan file name, uh, 14019 NBM limit plan version two. That's the correct one as of today. Um, but you just need to make sure that you always have the uh, latest one. Now, if this is the first time that you're doing this, so if you switch from another Stratasync account into the MBN one, uh, you want to make sure that you do create a new work code ID before you do any sort of work. So. Okay, so when you do that, the newest MBN limit plan will apply to the latest uh, work code ID that you just made. So if you now go configure, it's obviously still going to be there. But another thing to notice also is that when you do, it's normally going to be this one here as default. And if that's the case, you may still encounter some issues. So what you want to make sure is as soon as you do the NBN limit plan and you've got these three options, choose the middle one unless your supervisor tells you otherwise. And once you do that, then now you can start doing your Stratasync. Now, if you didn't have the MBN limit plan, this here most likely is going to say default, default, default. Uh, so if that's the case, then you definitely need to go back to your uh, supervisor and tell them that you need the MBN limit plan against your unit. Now, the one thing that they will need is your unit ID which as you can see, you can find it under Stratasync. It's that RRQA number. They will need that in order to deploy the MBN limit plan against your, um, against your machine. Thanks for your time, guys. See you next time.